Hello, and welcome to Economist. Today, we're going to check the new Dream Shaper XL Turbo. We'll be exploring the capabilities of this SDXL checkpoint model and putting its speed to the test. The GPU I'm using for this video is an NVIDIA graphics card with 12 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to walk through how to use it and check out the results it produces. Before we start, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's aim for 200 likes to beat the algorithm. Let's get started. All right, let's kick things off by heading over to the Dream Shaper XL page on civetai.com. I'm a big fan of this checkpoint model for its versatility and ability to create a wide range of styles. Now with the SDXL Turbo on board, things just got more exciting. Here's the rundown on using this model. It operates with only one or two CFG settings and requires just four to seven sampling sets. The recommended sampling method is DPM++ SDA Chorus. A key point to note is that there's no need for the LCM sampler, so we'll skip that. Also, a refiner isn't necessary for this model. The great thing about the SDXL Turbo is its compatibility with both Automatic 1111 and Comfy UI interfaces. Before we proceed, it's crucial to mention a vital disclaimer. SDXL Turbo is not for commercial use unless you've got permission from Stability AI. However, you can still sell images created with it under normal conditions. That's the essential info about the Turbo model. Your next step is to download it and place it in the models folder. I'm using Comfy UI for this demo, but you can follow along similarly with Automatic 1111. Today, we're keeping it simple. No complex nodes needed. We're just gonna test this model with a variety of prompts to see if it might become our new go-to. First up, we'll create an image of a futuristic cyberpunk girl with blue hair. Following the creator's advice, we'll use just five sampling sets. And we'll start with one CFG. And of course, select the DPM++ SDA Kara sampler. Don't forget to change the image dimension to 1024 by 1024 pixels. Let's hit the generate button and see what happens. Wow, that was quick. The result is amazing. This cyberpunk girl reminds me of the character from the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I'm really impressed with both the speed and quality of this model. Next, let's try something more realistic. We'll generate an image of an elegant man at a fancy occasion. The result is quite impressive too. For a bit of a change, let's switch to anime style. We'll create an anime girl. This versatility is what makes me appreciate this model. You can experiment with so many styles without needing to switch between different models. And it's super fast. That's all for today. I just wanted to demonstrate that the Dream Shaper XL Turbo model is definitely worth trying. It can streamline your workflow, saving time on generating and testing ideas for your projects. Before you go, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What's your current favorite model? Please leave your answers in the comments section below.